Octagon and listen to the crowd. They love this guy. Rich Franklin is one of the most respected competitors in the sport. He's very well-rounded and fights with a ton of heart. Rich Franklin ready to throw down and put on a big show for this capacity crowd. Ninja Hua, set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Ninja Hua has excellent Muay Thai, great knees, solid punching power, and he comes in with a wealth of fighting experience. He has got a very aggressive style and has a wicked submission game if this goes to the ground. Ninja Hua, fired up and ready to go. Tail of the Tape is brought to you by Dodge. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands six feet, one inch tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Cincinnati, Ohio. He is the former UFC middleweight champion, Rich Ace Franklin! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. Weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Marulo Ninja Hula. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. All right, gentlemen, you've been given your instructions. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands at all times, defend yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, go back, let's do this. Mike Goldberg, Joe Rogan, set for the start of round number one. Gentlemen, ready? Rich Franklin, ready? Ninja Hua. And here we go. Let's Rich fight. Franklin, born and raised in Cincinnati, Ohio. His best friend is George Grigel, who has also fought in the UFC. And he trains on a daily basis with George Grigel and especially learns his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu from the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Yeah, George Grigel has been a very important part of Rich Franklin's career, both in training him in Jiu-Jitsu and in his fight preparation. Man, they're pummeling back and forth. It's hard to see who has the edge here. Look at that uppercut. Turn him against the cage and elbow. Control the clinch. Get him back and up. He's got to compare it. Keep going. Press the hands. There you go. Can't take many more of these, Joe. Oh! And he slips and lines up on his back. He's taking some big shots on the bottom. Vicious punches from the top here, Mike. Well over two minutes. Oh, reversal. Passes to half guard. And back to full guard. Reversal. Very nice. And into side control. He's in full guard. Side control again. Looks like Hua is bleeding here. Half guard. He's in the full guard. Pushes him off with the feet, and he lets him back up. Getting in tight, using the clinch. Just over a minute remains. And now Franklin is cut as well. Under a minute remains. The clinch game once again. 
45 seconds remains in the first round. Right hand to your chin. Back it up. Make it 30 seconds remains in the round. For a ride. Our first round is in the books. Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well rounded, and they Don't had a chance to show plan. it in there. Pay attention to me. Don't vary from the game plan. Right? Throwing that Superman punch. We don't need that. Sit down. Nothing, though. Hey, that's close. You don't sit there and judge it, all right? You go out there and just keep fighting hard. You don't get the takedown, you're going back to the strikes. You're looking perfect. And look, you look all right, let's go to the replay, Mike. This was well timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here we see some amazing anticipation with a tremendous counter. A lot of versatility being shown in that everything round, Mike. Working. Everything you're doing is working. He's loading up. He's trying to take... The beautiful Ariani gets us set for round number two. Gentlemen, ready? Ready? We start round two. Fight. This fight scheduled for five. Five-minute rounds. He's got double underhooks here. Got him pressed up against the cage here. Belly again. Great reversal. Work that wrist control. Side control. Oh! In the guard. Back to side control. In the half guard. He lets him up. Get that double going. Get that double going. And he answers. They clinch again. Oh, beautiful takedown. Oh, into the guard. Side control. Man, those are knockout punches, Joe. Vicious punches from the top, Mike. One. Boom! He's looking for the triangle, Mike. Trying to remain calm, see if he can break out of this. Wow, great oh, job done escapes. defensively. Full guard here. He's in full guard here. Side control. Half guard. Moves into full mount here. Oh, he got reversed. Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. Inside with the clinch again. Oh! He got the body lock and he took him for a ride. One minute remains in round two. Oh! Oh! Good job hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. Franklin got hit on that same spot. That cut has really opened up now. He's got half guard. Looking to wall walk. Two rounds in the books. Three rounds to go in this UFC title fight. A superb display of mixed martial arts skills from both fighters. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. Get it over with. He is not as good as you. All right, one quick thing, when you go jail, bro, come back with the jail. Don't come back with the hook, he's leaning back, he'll catch him with the jail. Awesome. Right. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. This was an unbelievable suplex, beautiful technique. And here we see some real power on display. Fantastic suplex. And here was that suplex, so much amazing technique in that. Solid action in that round, Mike. Don't, don't let your back sit, sit on, the, on the cage, okay? Need some more? There's Shandella getting set for round three. 
Gentlemen, ready? Ready? And we are set Let's for fight. the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five, five minute rounds. Oh, beautiful suplex. Joe, let's see what he chooses to do here. Beautiful. Oh, he's mounted him. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Oh, nice left and a right. Nice right hand. Great job on the reversal. Side control now. Half guard. Keep moving. Full guard. There you go, nice. The crowd loves Rich Ace Franklin. In the half guard. Wow, the power of the takedown there. And really raining down some haymakers. Transitions to the full mount. Half guard. He's in guard here. Side control. He ate that one. He's got half guard. Hua starting to bleed bad now. And back to mount again. Oh, he gets reversed. Inside the guard. He caught the kick. Nice, nice. Oh, they're going to close it up again, right to the clinch. Oh, takes him for a ride. Okay, he moves into the mount here. Oh, reversal. Goes right into side control and into full mount. Half guard. He's staying on top of him, controlling the position. Oh, he got reversed. Control his hands. Push him away. Pushes him off of the feet. And that signifies the end of round three of this UFC title fight. Both fighters look relatively fresh as they head back to their corners. Yeah, no one was able to really land any big shots in that round, Mike. Take a couple deep breaths. Look me in the eye. He's got nothing for you. Straight pump. Hey, look it. The score. All you need to do is score. You score with that takedown, you score with your jab. Mix up your jab a lot. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. This was an unbelievable suplex. Beautiful technique. And here we see some real power on display. Fantastic suplex. And here was that suplex. So much amazing technique in that. Good action in that round, Mike. Got to keep those uh, hands up inside. The, the leg kicks are there. All right, the leg kicks are there. The beautiful Brittany with us tonight. We are set for round four. Gentlemen, ready? Ready? We begin the championship rounds. This is round four of this title fight. Oh! He's looking to take him down. He gets mounted. Oh, the double underhook didn't work that time. Good job, hip escaping there, moves to half guard. He's got them out. Full mount. This is not good. Side control. Nicely done. Boom. He's in the guard now. And he's got he's side control. Oh, body shot. Oh. Oh, wow, that right hand. In the half guard. Full mount here. Come down with a good one. Oh, oh good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Keep the half guard. That's it. You're okay. He caught the leg. Using those up kicks to keep his opponent away here. Yeah, you don't want to catch one of those on the way in. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. 
Oh, oh nice big dirty overhead. boxing. Trying to punish the midsection. And the battle for a dominant position continues. Got him pressed up against the cage here, working for control. right hand. Pushing him up against the cage. Rua is gassing here, Mike. Joe, he's got his opponent up against the fence. They have worked into the deep waters. Four rounds complete. One round remains in this UFC title fight. Solid action to take us into the fifth. Yeah, these guys are showing why they're at the top of their division. Good boxing, good wrestling, good jujitsu. Every aspect of their game is rock solid. You win this round, you got to fight. You win this round, you got to fight. Okay. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. This was just an unbelievable counter right here. This is flawless timing. And now just a punishing combination of shots landing right here. And this was that great solid shot that connected in the clinch. Nice action in that round, Mike. You hear me? You gotta take it to him. You can dump him, you can troll him. Ariani gets us set for the fifth and final round. Gentlemen, ready? Ready? This is the Let's fifth fight. and Let's final fight. round. Joey's He's looking for some here. control here. He's got double underhooks. Both fighters continuing to try to get to a more dominant position. Oh, nice. What a huge right hand. Big right hand. He got tagged there, but it looks like he's recovered. He gets the clinch here. <laughs> got him clinched up against the fence. Under three minutes now. What a great display of hand fighting. And fans at home, you've got to realize that these men are really working to get to a dominant position. Nice knee. He's got a clinch. He drops him with the uppercut. He's in big trouble. Looking up. It is over. Good call by the referee. We have a new UFC light heavyweight champion. And here we see just jumps all over his opponent and starts raining bombs from the top. What a great display. And that was all his opponent could take. Just brutal punches from the top here. Just standing right over him, pounding his face in. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, two seconds, of the fifth round, declaring the winner by TKO, and now, the new UFC Light Heavyweight Champion of the World, Rich Ace Frankfurt. And 
Rich Franklin is the new UFC Light Heavyweight Champion.